Yay. Okay. There we go. Hello again. Sorry about that, Sorry everybody. About that, I lost right? track of time. Jeez, Jeez, man. We were in, we were we were in, in Mountain we were in Time Zone last week. We're back in Central. That's, that's right. That's my excuse. That's, that's right. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It has yeah. nothing to do with anything else. <laughs> hey, everyone. How are you doing? Um, yeah. It's an interesting experience today. You may hear a little background noise. That's the TV downstairs. My mother in law is helping me out with the kiddo. So. Zoom time. Yeah, there you go. So yes, uh, I am. I am a lonely bachelor today. I have the kid and the dog. So you're giving the kid power tools. I see, which I'm sure Meg will be a huge fan of. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, hide my. People complain about everything. I can't hide the apps. It's like uh, the the way that this works on the. On the stupid uh, streaming when we're not like at the same place, I can't really adjust it. I don't know. I mean, we can. No, nope, I can't change that. I can't change the way it outputs anything. Sorry. Um, my hair. I'm just. I'm going all that throughout today. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry. I need to turn off my uh, phone. There. All right. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's been a busy day. <laughs> very, very busy day. You, um, a you got a taste of what Meg went, went through last week? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, it's not that it's hard work. It's just that it's interruptive work. So, like, I would try and do something on the computer, and then, you know, randomly the baby would start crying. So you got to go downstairs, you got to take care of the baby. That takes a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever. And then the next thing you know, like, like crap, like it's already five o'clock and I haven't done anything. <laughs> so, <sighs> yes. Um, yes, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in Texas. We had a great time in Colorado, had a lot of fun. It was pretty awesome. Um, Oh yeah, I haven't seen you out here in a while. So, yeah, you know, like, Ash is a good baby. He's pretty, pretty good. He actually slept, like, super long last night. It was awesome. He only woke up once. It was amazing. So, yeah, and, uh, yes, drinking, yes. So, welcome to manhood. I guess it's fatherhood, because you could be a man without being a father. But, you know, it's fatherhood. Anyway. Welcome to I, hear, I, hear I see somebody saying I have two mics in the middle. I don't think that I do. I'm trying to find out. It could be reverberating on my microphone. Yeah, because I, I don't hear it on my end. Well, it, it's, that's the problem with doing the thing where I'm capturing two streams in one is it's kind of difficult so you guys can actually see it i'm actually using this thing here i'll put it on the screen i'm using this thing see right there whoa yeah check that out i'm using this thing called obs and it like does like the stream and all this stuff and it captured it captures my desktop so um it's the only way to really be able to do this thing that i'm aware of i'm sure there's better technology but that's the technology i have and it's free so People are hearing a lot of echo. Oh, great. We haven't had this we issue had before. This issue what are we doing differently? We doing We've, differently. Done We've done this before and it works. Oh, I'm going to turn down your volume like really low. How about that? <laughs> Maybe it won't catch it as, as, as considerable. I don't know. Um, how many speeding tickets? Zero. Zero tickets. We did really good. So no speeding tickets. Um, we actually the only pullover was me on Pike's Peak. <laughs> <laughs> so mute Adam. <laughs> no one cares about you, Adam. No one wants to hear you. Yeah. I, mean, I, guess, I guess I could like wear headphones and then you know like that would work, but then I look like a I don't know. Like what? A, you'd look what? Like you'd look like what? I have headphones on. A what? Tool? <laughs> <laughs> Did Adam take his Porsche? No, he did not. Adam was the sag wagon. So Adam drove my truck and trailer so that we had tools and a trailer in case anyone broke down. That was 
something that I was trying to offer since we were, you know, since people were, um, you know, paying for this. We wanted to be able to provide them with support if they needed it. Oh, to unmute Adam, Chris. <laughs> oh, someone likes you, Adam. I thought it was going to be to mute Aww. Adam. <laughs> you need a gaming headset? <laughs> I mean, I like my bows. These things are great, man. They noise cancel. and This is what I use when I edit videos. I use this a lot. It's, I love these things. They're amazing. But uh, did I trailer to 4 8? Yes, we did. We trailered to 4 of 8 up there. Um, I mean, as long as you're bringing the truck and trailer, you might as well use the truck and trailer to not put unnecessary miles on it. Uh, Ferrari is equal breakdown film at 11. No, actually, no one broke down. Not even the Jag or the uh, Aston. <laughs> Surprisingly right? enough. Right? What was the cost per person again? People were asking for next year. Uh, it was like 6,000 bucks. <laughs> Mousetrap to mute Adam. I agree. We should mute Adam. I can do that very easily and just click the button. Um, unfortunately. I really am looking through all my settings to see if it's something on my end. No, it'll be on this end. I can, I can take care of that. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we are. That was probably the last uh, devaluation tour of Colorado for at least a while. Um, we basically broke even, maybe had a slight loss, slight positive. I don't know. I haven't done the, the numbers yet. I haven't gotten all the receipts gathered. So, um, ouch, 6000 Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand how much the hotels were that we were staying at? <laughs> Like, yeah, we weren't like, staying at like days in. Days this was in. in Holiday Inn, and you know, like, yeah, anyway. This is the, yeah, the fact that people even say stuff like that is exactly why I'm not doing it again because uh, people don't want to pay for it for a real actual vacation. Uh, it's six thousand dollars for a week long vacation, basically, at extremely nice hotels. And pretty much everything, pretty much everything for except for the car and your gas was paid for. And, and actually, we even tried to roll in alcohol, even though I said I wouldn't, um, which I think that might not work. We may have to. I, I already talked to everyone who participated, and I said basically, <laughs> hey, if the alcohol pushed us over budget and I'm losing money, are you willing to kick in on it? And they said yes. So there you go. Uh, Mousetrap, I'm not going to cut my hair. Yeah. Not going to happen. Yeah. But it was fun. It was super, super fun. And I'm glad that everyone had a good time. Um, no, it was not one place. It was five, well, six, no, sorry, seven nights. Uh, how many different locations? One, two, three, four, five, six, basically six different locations. Well, so, one, location, well, one, one location, location twice. twice. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was pretty awesome. Um, and we did over a thousand miles. We did closer to 1200 miles, I think. Was what it ended up being part of that's because we had massive detours <laughs> so uh unfortunately the weather did not cooperate this year we were kind of discussing that on the way home last year we had great weather and i think covid helped there be less less traffic which was pretty awesome yeah. i mean uh honestly last year last year was just the perfect year to do something like this i thought it was just in like one castle i was misinformed now we did stay at the castle one night um, yeah, and there was, yeah, and there was only castle. one castle. Yeah, there's only one castle. We stayed, so we stayed at a, a, in a penthouse. Basically, we stayed at a historic hotel in, in Manitou Springs, which was the start and end point. So we were there Sunday night and Friday night. Um, really, really awesome hotel, amazing food, great restaurant. Love it. Um, they've been very accommodating, so um, highly recommend them. It's called the Cliff House. Then we went to uh, uh, Ridgeway, Colorado, which is a tiny little town and there's really not anywhere to stay that's nice except one place called um, Chipetta Solar Springs. So we stayed there. Each room has its own hot tub, its own fireplace, its own kitchen. They're very nice. Samson Power? I'm not sure what that... From the Bible. Oh. From the Bible. Okay. I was like, what? Um, <laughs> we all know who hasn't read the Bible here. I have. I just <laughs> didn't associate with it. Um, then we stayed in uh, Telluride at a condominium and it was actually two condos that were like connected and um they had their own that was the that place, place is just by far it's 
totally pimp. It's totally baller. Super off the charts. Um, ridiculously nice. It even has an elevator that goes straight into the parking garage. So it's it's just unbelievable. We stayed there two nights. Um, they, had what, they had, what, two or three hot tubs and then two heated pools? Because yeah. Gabe found out the pools were heated because he, yep. he got in the in the pools and they were heated. So. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, ate at an incredible restaurant up on Telluride on the mountain. And uh, and then finally we stayed at the, the Redstone Castle, um, which is, we rented out the entire castle. So it was like just us. It's pretty cool. Like you have an entire... I think they said it was 25,000 square feet. So we had 25,000 square feet to ourselves. It's, yeah, it's pretty up. I think the gondola ride or the ski lift or whatever you want to call it down the mountain when it was completely dark was like tricky. Oh, that was cool. You couldn't see anything but the lights from Telluride. Yeah. Like there's no lights on the towers for the ski lift or anything like that. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the whole the whole thing. I just I'm kind of a little bit bummed that it didn't make money because that was kind of the plan was hey if this makes money let's do it every year but it it didn't so I'm bummed. It's, it's expensive. It is. It's really expensive. It's you know and, and, I'm bummed too because it would have been awesome to be able to drive it again. I just I just did it in your truck this yeah. year. Although I was passing people with your truck like it was my job going up the mountain. I'd say if. I, I, if we ever do it again, I almost think you just leave the truck somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. If and need, if we need it. Yeah. If it. like, I mean, because even if you're at the furthest point in Colorado, you're still only like eight hours away. And the only way you're going to really need the truck and trailer is if someone like completely breaks down. So I think I would keep like a small tool set in the car. Although it was yeah. nice to have like not dealing with your luggage in the car. That part of it's kind of cool. So like people that... Like a couple of the people actually bought like brought like full size suitcases, which obviously won't fit in most of these trunks. Yeah. Yeah. But if it would have been full, would I have made money? Yes. If I had booked all nine slots, I would have made a little bit of money. That was the original calculation. Um, the problem is, I like, for example, I had to book the entire castle, right? Um, and then I had to book the entire condominiums. Like you can't just do it per room. And then even the hotels had um, cancellation policies where you couldn't cancel uh, within 90 days. So 90 days out, I already had committed all the money. So like I had over $35,000 that I had to put into <laughs> this just to like get it all reserved. And I did that, you know, nine months ago. So, right. So I had $35,000 on the line nine months ago and, or it was even more than that. And I, couldn't get nine people. I got six. So, you know. Uh, Loper never committed last year or this right. year. Uh, and Fred didn't either. No, Fred was thinking about it, and then he couldn't. Um, yeah. Did Connor get any at the castle again this year? <laughs> <laughs> we were teasing him about that before we got there, and it was a different hostess this year, oh, unfortunately. Man. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, that would have been great. I think though. those guys had a good time taking care of us. So if you didn't know, we yeah. we had um, Connor and uh, was it Bryson? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's they uh, yeah. washed our cars every night. So every place we went, they would wash our cars. It was pretty cool. So yeah, it, it really was an awesome time. I mean, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you, like I'm just trying to lay out the facts, right? I'm not the trying to complain. The logistics of why we're not yeah, doing yeah. it like, again. Like, I'm looking at it from yeah. a business perspective, not from a, a fun perspective. Because fun wise, it was off the charts. It's absolutely ridiculously fun. Suggestion: make the tour a biannual or triannual and a survey prior. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Um, you know, like the other way to do it is to get people to commit, like way in advance and have it be where you have to commit a very long period in advance and pay up front and have it be non-refundable that way at least i'm not out like outlaying all that yeah. money and that was the problem is like i you know that's a lot of money for me to just put up front just to break even like and that's my that's that my personal money that's not the company's money that's money coming out of my checking account not from normal guys. Because we don't have that much money in the company. The company yeah, we yet. don't have 35 grand chilling in the company account. <laughs> that is an interesting name right there. Horsecock Express. Oh, my God. Well, hey. <laughs> All right. I saw that pop up, and I was like, hmm. I mean, 
<laughs> you know, to each their own. <laughs> so the thing about like, uh, he'll... here's the thing is doing the same route is really convenient for us because the planning, like the first year we did the planning, right? We got the hotels, we got the routes and kind of that was an experiment. And, um, that's why we didn't want to change it. Cause like we've said, Oh, maybe we should try doing California. Uh, maybe we should try doing, uh, the East coast and go into like the, you know, the mountains or something. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. we know who watches our social yeah. media. <laughs> so Adam a clearly follows our Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not, uh, so thank you for following our. I haven't drank enough socials. yet to, to <laughs> deal with this. <laughs> uh, oh man, that was that was great. awesome. Hey, well done, there. I didn't mean to oh, cut you man. off, but that was just great. <laughs> oh lord! Oh man, you're gonna make me spit out my wine. <laughs> God. What were we talking about? I don't know. Stupid stuff, right? <laughs> Can you say demonetize? No kidding, right? Oh lord, uh, what I missed? Something? Just read the comments. You'll you'll see. Oh man! Actually, I guess if you didn't see the Instagram post, you wouldn't really know. No, he's, he, there he goes. He's mousetrap saw. <laughs> I would hope that Mousetrap of all people are following our social. You follow our Instagram, right? Actually, technically, you can follow either the Instagram or the Facebook. Or the Facebook. Generally, yeah. anything we post on Instagram automatically posts to Facebook. Oh, Megan has the night off. <laughs> so, um, in, in penance for my uh, uh, Colorado trip, Megan and my neighbors to the sides of us, they all, all three of the ladies went out and. Um, are staying at a nice bed and breakfast for the evening because they all deserve it. So I am home alone. Um, but my, my mother-in-law is downstairs watching TV. So that was very kind of my mother-in-law to help me out just in case Ash woke up. So Ash is actually <laughs> asleep right now. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I can see, oh, what's this? Uh, wow, well, you're really generous, Dan. Ha, ha for some reason, like me, 35,000 is a scary amount of money for an event like that. Yeah, it, it was huge. Trust me, that's a lot of money for me. I was nervous as hell. Like, you know, I thought when I put out that much money, I thought, oh, man, like people are going to sign up and it's going to be awesome and it's going to be no problem. And then at the last minute, no, you know, I only had five people and one person signed up within, I think, the last month. And I was like, shit and bricks. Because everybody last year was like, oh my God, that looks so yeah. awesome. I want to do it. I and that's the do problem, it. right? Do it. So we're so like, like yeah. hell Everyone yeah. Everyone comments like, oh, space. I'll do that. That sounds awesome. And then like when it's time to actually do it, they're like, oh man, like, I don't know. And blah, blah, blah. And it was like, ah. So yeah. I, and I'm not like the kind of guy where I want to like beat the door down trying to get people to give me their money. Like that's just... I don't work that way. Like, you know, if you want to, if you want to buy one of our products or something, great, I'll help you out. But I'm not going to like hound you and be like, come on, spend some money with me. Like, you know, that's not, that's not me. So yeah. Anyway, uh, how much was the final amount of devaluation for all the cars? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Two like, windshields. Huh? Two windshields. Two windshields. Yeah, we worth. did lose two windshields. Um, so that right there is like twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, I have to uh, actually. Funny thing about that, I have my windshield scheduled to be replaced. Um, so I called. Well, I filed it with my insurance and whatever. No, no big deal. I have to pay my deductible, and then they sent it automatically to like Safe Flight, and Safe Flight was like, "Oh, a Ferrari." Hmm we have to get that windshield from Ferrari. And I'm like, wait, I'm not going to have you guys install a windshield that you have to buy from Ferrari. Why don't I just take it to Ferrari? And so they ended up telling me anyway, they're like, nope, we don't do Ferraris. We can't touch it. Our, our, their insurance won't let them do my car. So I have to have my windshield replaced at Ferrari Boston. So anyway. What did your insurance, what did your insurance say about that? I mean, they, didn't even, uh, they haven't said anything yet. I put a note. <laughs> I, I put a note in there. 
I mean, they're going to have to because Safe Flight, which is their preferred thing, which, again, you have the right to choose who does the... No, you do. No, you do. Um, oh, I, I, know. I know. Yeah, yeah, of course you know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, like, Safe Flight said... They don't have... Safe Flight was like, nope, we won't do it, period. So, I mean, if they bulk at whatever astronomical amount of money Freud Boston is going to charge, too bad. It's like, there's no other option, you know? What's the cost? I'm guessing many thousands, many thousands of dollars. Somewhere between six and eight thousand dollars. Is my guess. It's I think insane it's that insane that Ferrari glasses. That it's, it's, it's just a car. It's low volume. <laughs> I am not DIY. No, I will not DIY <laughs> my windshield. Hell, no. <laughs> I am not. No, that's not something I'm willing to do. I don't even want to touch that. Um, I have thought about like, what do you guys think? Should I do the Rob Freddy thing and like go hit my windshield with a bat like right before I bring it in? I could, I don't know. <laughs> and then the Ferrari or then the YouTube world will forever cast uh, chastise us for copying Rob Freddy. But let's do it. Anyway. I, I mean, I think I should. I mean, how many times do you get to do that? Like, that's an opportunity. Like, you get to beat something really expensive with a bat. The glass deductible was a thousand bucks. It's the same as my comp. It's comprehensive, so it's a thousand bucks. No, leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The other thing I thought about is I kind of want to test. I have one of those uh, window breakers. I kind of want to test it, like see if it just like tap it and it shatters. I don't think it'll make a difference or do anything. It would still crack it. it. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, but I don't think it would spider very yeah, big because it's all laminated. I know it's laminated, but it'd still be cool. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying we don't do it. I'm just saying I don't think it will do it. We can just try it. You know. Just <laughs> with, yeah. Oh, I'm down for trying it for sure. Yeah, that's true. My luck, if something would happen, like the glass would like shatter apart and fall into a vent or something well, like that. Well, if you do the baseball bat, yeah, yeah that would mm. happen. Ha <clears throat> happen absolutely but if you do the little hammer thing because it's, because it's laminated the bottom side yeah i don't think would get damaged oh on the crap side of it so you know my dashboard has like the pulling leather and i thought oh man like while they're pulling out the glass why don't i have jay my leather guy get in there and repair the leather and like fry boston was like no we're not gonna let you do that and i'm like damn it so i tried because they, because they want more no, money. No, they just they said, they're, they said they have a guy who specializes in the glass, and they bring him in to do that, and he wants to be able to just work on the car and not have interruptions. I get it. Whatever. So, oh, here's a question. What was the average age of drivers on the tour? Well, the oldest was 70, I think, and the youngest was, I'm going to say, late 20s? Maybe. Or early 30s, somewhere around there. So average is probably in the 40s or 50s, I'm guessing. No, I'm not drinking a Cabernet. This is 50s, a, um, oh, what is it? it? Is a, it's Antonori, and I think it's a, oh, it's Toscana. Ah, yes, I'm drinking a Toscana. There you go. Uh, Let's see. Spring loaded center punch will spider web a windshield. Yeah, I mean, definitely will. Will it? Will it? Yeah, well, yeah, spider web it. I wonder if it would do both sides of the glass. Though. Yeah, well, insurance company could revoke the claim if I intentionally break it, except I have documentation that it's already broken. Like, I've picked. Yes, I was the hottest one on the tour. Huh? Somebody asked if I was the hottest one on the tour. I said, yes, I was the hottest oh. one on the tour. I mean, it's either you or your wife because she was the only female. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hotter than my wife. Oh man! I hope she watches this. You're gonna hear. She doesn't. She doesn't. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> no. I'm gonna, she could care I'm less. I'm gonna tell her how far. Okay. I'm gonna be like, hey Jen, at 26 minutes in, fast forward to this spot <laughs> and uh, beat Adam's ass. <laughs> She could care less about two dudes on the internet talking about cars. Let's see. Were there any 48s or F8s or H12s on the trip? No. We had uh, two, well, three 458s, two F430s, one Jaguar F Type R, uh, and um, an Aston Martin Vantage, and then my brother's Porsche Taycan Turbo S. So. 
sadly, there is, sadly, there is only one Porsche on the tour this year. Yeah. Uh, looking for an opinion on changing out the stereo in a Ferrari. Does it hurt the value for real, or do people actually like what? Um, I mean, I'm assuming you're talking about like a F430 or older, because none of the new ones you can change out the stereos really. People don't really care that much because they know that the original stereos are garbage on the Ferraris. So I don't think it really hurts the value unless you've got like a pristine, immaculate, very original car. Where everything else right. is original. Right. If it's like it. Classy K certified kind of thing, don't do it. But if it's like a driver's car, yeah, absolutely. Do it. No one cares. No one cares. They all do it. Um Wanting the leather fix would be a good reason to smash the windshield out before taking the car to F away. I've thought about that too. I mean, like, I don't know how hard it is to remove a windshield, but I'm afraid I might, like, damage something, so I kind of don't want to do it. I've watched the dudes with that claw thing to, like, get the urethane out. It looks hard yeah, to do it. I don't want to make it, like, any worse than it already is. I mean, primary goal is to get the windshield replaced, not to fix the leather. The leather can be done later. Unfortunately, by removing the entire dashboard. <laughs> uh, a special guy who doesn't want his work interrupted. Is it racist if it sounds exactly like something Fry would say? Not racist. True. <laughs> oh, speaking of Porsches and Ferraris, can we tell them about this one someday? Sure, yeah. We're going to be celebrity judges at a car show on Sunday. Pop my collar into that. They are really, they are really the scraping the bottom of the barrel for celebrity <laughs> judges if they're asking us to go. Uh, to my favorite thing. part is so they asked, uh, they asked me to be a celebrity judge, and I said, "Hey, how about Adam and I be a celebrity judge team?" And they were like, "That sounds awesome!" And basically, they were like, "God help us." <laughs> <laughs> If any of you here are going to the, I'm not sure if this is official, but we will be accepting bribes. Yes, definitely accepting bribes. Yes. We are not above accepting bribes because we're celebrity. So, like, what does it matter? It should be pretty fun. Oh, man. Tell us about the driving. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the driving on the tour. It's awesome. I mean, it's so pretty. It's like you have to balance like just wanting to haul ass versus like stare out the windows because it's so pretty but it's it's so much fun i mean there's just it's the best driving in the country i think it really is unfortunately yeah you know, well you'll see in the video coming up very soon um we had a massive disappointment on the tour so um that's actually not a bad idea adam wear your attorney hat for the judging dude that's actually not a terrible idea. That's good. Any CNC updates? Nothing since the last video we did on it. Five to nine. We did get an email about it though, so maybe there will be an update. Yeah, we might. Once we verify, we need to verify some stuff because we're not we're not about putting out fake information. Five to nine is not done. It's basically just waiting on computers. That's it. Everything else is done. How many Miller Lights to win? I'm going to go with a 12-pack. We'll probably do it. 24-pack, you're definitely going to win. 12-pack, you're probably going to win. It's not... It depends on if anybody else brings a 24-pack. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you want to make sure that you have the highest quantity of beer. And cold. It's got to be cold. <laughs> uh, sell that Ferrari and get a CR500. The oil changes are a fraction of cost. Mm, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Should he bring all the guns too? I mean, it's Texas. He could. <laughs> oh, hey! Could. Someone's asking if you're Ron Jeremy. I mean, it is. It is. Yeah, he's just uh, doing it from prison. <laughs> I don't understand how somebody who did porn their whole life goes to jail for rape. Like, yeah, you, you know, like you'd think you'd get enough women if you're in the porn industry that you wouldn't need to like do that whatever we're, we're just that's just a straight to like demonetization road so we're not going to yeah. go there yeah we'll just, i'll just, just yeah change, change the subject <laughs> <laughs> bob from bob's burgers i haven't heard that one yet that i mean it, yeah you kind of got the stash from bob 
Yeah. I've never watched that yeah. show. I kind of figured it was probably going to be oh, dumb. What is the box behind me? Fry parts? No, it is. That looks like a light it's kit. It's one of the light kits. Did they show up? Did they show yes. up? See? Oh, nice. These are our lights. Hold on. Haha. Uh -huh. That is a light. Actually, these are the new ones. I didn't know. Uh, we should. It's a, I'm glad you brought this up. The new ones, check it out. Instead of doing the stupid wires, they plug in. Wait, make sure I got it right. Yep, I got it right. Look at that. Hold on, I'm gonna mess it up. There, boom, plugs in. So you don't have to do the stupid wiring. Remember all the wiring we did? Yeah. Pain yeah. ass, this one just plugs in. And it's only got two plugs. They're actually plugs, pre-wired. See, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They totally improved the kits. They were like, hey, do you want the new improved kits? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. Who would have yeah, right. <laughs> See, the old way to do it, the old way, is have these bag of wires. You had to wire all of the little connectors. Pain in the ass. That is way easier. You can buy those at normalguysupercard.com. <laughs> <laughs> Mousetrap, yeah, he's got, he, like, I'm like, <laughs> Thank you again, again Mousetrap. Yeah, you are beyond generous. Uh, we're not going uh, to finish my garage, uh, just because we would have to do a whole nother, like, uh, wooden contraption thing, and it would be just, yeah. we just did that because that kit was returned by somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just we were using that light kit because it was a return and we couldn't sell it because it was not complete. So we thought we'd just put it in Adam's garage. Why not? You know, like so. Still supply chain issues or is it easing? Uh, getting worse, unfortunately. Um, actually, so those of you that are watching, just going to give you a tip. If you are looking to do modifications to your car or buy stuff for your car, whatever car it is, I'm not even saying Ferrari stuff, be aware that like prices on everything are going up. Like I've gotten in the last two weeks, I've gotten emails from three of our manufacturers increasing prices. So I've had to like go through my entire uh, inventory on our website and increase the prices because they're like, hey, you know, like, their costs are going up. So like one place was like, hey, our costs went up 100, I was 113 or 118%. So they're like, yeah, we have to increase our prices by like a pretty considerable amount. So like, I just had to increase the price of Swiss tracks. I just had to increase the price of all of the Klein stuff, all of it. Um, there was something else that changed prices. I forgot what it was. Oh, I think it was HRE wheels. So like that's, three major products that we sell that all went up and it's not like, Oh, it went up like 2%. No, they went up like 30%, like huge increases. So if you're looking to buy something, I would do it soon because everything is just going to get more expensive. So. We are still, we are still selling the uh, element fire extinguishers. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I got box them over there. <laughs> yeah. Containers are still stuck at ports. So, yeah, material costs are up. Everything is getting more expensive. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? If you've already seen it, how baby blue looking is Grigio Alloy in person? I'm trying to think if I've seen Grigio Alloy. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, even headlight mods. Yeah, everything's going up. Everything's going up in price. Should I trade in the Taycan for a 911? I mean, you know, I like your old GT3 was pretty incredible, Dave. <laughs> hey, Quentin, how you doing, man? Adam, 996 turbos are fetching a pretty penny. Any plans to sell? Nope, because I absolutely love the car, and we are way high mileage. We're almost at 130,000 miles, so it wouldn't be worth it for me to sell if I even wanted to. But I legitimately do not want to because I love the car so much. Oh, any new car reviews? None planned right now, or I should say none well, scheduled? Ven, Ven bought a new car. Ven did? Oh, yeah. I about yeah, I, possibly doing car that. Car reviews are kind of a weird thing because, like, sometimes they get good views, but they 
don't really help the business. So it's like, they're great for views and, I, and they're fun. They're really fun, but I don't know. They're kind of weird. Um, it's hard and it, they take a lot of time because you have to like schedule everyone and then, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not trying to bitch. I'm just saying the reviews are like, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, I get it. They're fun. There's a Grigio alloy for at Ferrari of Austin. Oh, well, if it's still there when I go take my car there to get its windshield replaced, I'll see it. <laughs> Do you guys collect Hot Wheels? Do you have a favorite? Uh, no, nah, I, I, I don't really have any. I know people love them. They're pretty badass, but I just, I'm not a big collector of stuff. I just don't collect stuff. Oh, what year is, what I, year is your 96? It's an 02. It's an 02. And I, not, I don't daily drive it, but I drive it probably four days a week but depending on what we're doing like yesterday we were filming at my house so i didn't have to drive anywhere so the car didn't get moved uh, but i don't daily drive it but i drive it a lot because how could you not oh mousetrap how about how much 599 is done basically um effectively all of the mechanical work is done we just haven't tested it because we don't have the computers in the car so we haven't been able to start it so um, Art and EAG is currently doing a conversion out in North Carolina. They're supposed to get back next week. We should have the car done possibly next week. I, I want to say we will because actually there's some, there's a substantial, um, I don't know what, what's the right word to say. There's a big change coming with Gated 6 and EAG. It's good. It's, it's good. great. It's a good it's change. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's going to basically cause a huge disruption in everything for about a month. Yeah. But it's yeah. Good. But, it's but it's good. good. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have the car done in the next week, but I may not have. Hopefully, it will increase our production. Yes. How fast everything goes. Yes. So, um, do I think the forfeit is best for a value? I think it was. Um, when they were like 160,000, at 200,000, it's harder to say yes. Um, but since all the Ferraris kind of went up in value, I'm going to say still kind of yes, because I still think it's the best Ferrari. In fact, there's actually, so I said that in my video talking about, um, have we hit peak Ferrari? There was an article I saw just this morning that said they pulled a ton of Ferrari people and like Ferrari owners who have owned multiple Ferraris and the unanimous winner of best Ferrari ever was the 458. Just saying. Just saying. We're kind of a big deal, guys. Yes. Just so you know. We did that. What? What? You gotta read the question. I said we're... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I said we're kind of a big deal. Oh, we are? Because... we. St I was making a joke that we did the... We caused the article to... Keep up with us, Dan. Come on. It took a moment. Come. My brain's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Car prices are going down. Four five eights are under two hundred grand for around twenty five to thirty five thousand miles, which I think the market's kind of retracting from its ridiculousness. Like I think so. Um, that actually kind of leads me into an in interesting question I'm going to ask of all of you. So we have this idea for a new series, and the thought was initially we were going to say, "Hey, let's like look at three different cars." and compare, like, for example, let's say we're looking at Ferrari F430s, and we find one that we think is a good buy, one that we think is a terrible buy, and one that we think is an okay buy. But I actually kind of want to change that now to, like, what if we just find, like, five to ten cars that are currently on the market and just talk about them and say, hey, here's our thoughts on these cars. Because, like, I was looking on some cars, and I found, like, four cars right now that are just priced ridiculous like they're smoking crack like <laughs> their prices are just outrageous and i thought <laughs> i'd love to showcase these cars and show here's what the current market market's going on like people are seriously smoking crack they see all the current prices and they're thinking oh i'm gonna i'm gonna listen Cash yeah in. like there's there was a 458 that was for sale that was over three hundred thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars and it was like not even that awesome a spec. And I'm like, you're smoking crack, dude. So anyway, 
Yeah. And there was one person that said that their car was a manual when it wasn't. It was an F. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that the we F430 is sent to you. Yeah, that was yeah. funny. They're like, oh, they wanted, they wanted like a hundred. Was it one hundred seventy-five thousand for that? What? Um, I don't remember. Anyway, it was ridiculous. So we're thinking that would be a cool series. Yeah, one seventy-five. Yeah, one seventy-five. Yeah, 175? Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, if when I go to Ferrari of Austin, I'll take a look at the color and see if Grigio Alloy is a cool in person. Oh, I, I actually know the color now that you say it. Um, I think I've seen it in person on a five fifty. I want to say, huh? There's a one year old F eight Spider with delivery miles for five hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's like a depending on the options. That's like a hundred thousand dollar markup. Just saying. That's crazy. Oh, the 458 Grigio Alloy has 35,000 miles. They want 180. That's actually not bad. In the current market, that's kind of, uh, I mean, yeah. Do you sell the neon Ferrari sign you have in your garage? I do not. Um, it is, um, oh shoot, it's called, uh, it'll come to me in a second. Hold on. Uh, something garage I yeah gas remember. art garage Find studio the... so google that gas art garage studio and he can make you one i uh, do not sell them so he's awesome he does amazing you can have basically any custom sign you want made it doesn't have to be ferrari it could be whatever so yeah there's a guy yeah john savage i'm, I'm rebuilding a dirt bike and i've been waiting on a pipe since march I've heard metals are getting sourced out to different countries that don't normally make things. Yeah, it's it's nuts. You can't get parts. Uh, I really can't wait to hear the Friday night with that new X pipe yet. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> it's it's Me been neither. Like, I haven't heard that car in 14 months. <laughs> oh man, what do you think is the it's best insane. value for a first Friday to buy with low maintenance? 430. Probably the 430. I mean, it used to for sure be the 430, but they've gone up enough in price that it's harder to say. But anything older than that, belts. Yeah, though. anything older than the 430, you're gonna have timing belts. I mean, and I would be hard pressed to spend that much money on a car and know that I have to spend thousands every couple of years yeah. for a belt. It's it's like here's my thing: is if you can afford a 458, you're gonna be glad you bought a 458. If you can't, then the 430 is very good like there's hardly anything bad to say about the 458 uh what car did ben buy uh, some porsche right yeah yeah he bought a 911 oh, was it 911 oh yeah it was... i don't want to give i don't want to give too much away in case we do it but he bought a 911 yeah let's see uh da, 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 da. and watch the cars when they sell interview the seller and get the price yeah well that's harder <laughs> i doubt they would want to do yeah. that <laughs> When and why was Adam brought on as a channel? No disrespect, just curious. When? It was like June. a couple months ago. It's yeah. June. Why? Because to... I needed help, and he is a good help and brings value to the channel. Aww, stop it's it. Fair. Sometimes. You're so Sometimes. Kind. Don't make me take it back. You're so kind. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, so people seem to think that would be a good series. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. I think we be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sup, Tyler, aka Mr. Popcorn, aka Mr. Fireworks Machine. <laughs> Did Tyler have fireworks during? The he had the F type. Oh, oh, fireworks like his. Yeah, exhaust. Bah, 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 bah. okay. Yeah, watching yeah. with the with the awesome license plate that it took me like a week and a half to. I have to say the license plate was <laughs> epic. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not a smart man. Porsche Austin <laughs> offered me a new 992.1 GT3 for $120,000 over. It's just stupid. That's insane. Oh, that's. John, thank, thank you. you. The John. We Love Dan Fund. I love myself. <laughs> oh, did Fred finally Somebody's... get his F8? Yes, he's got it. Yep. I need to. He actually uh, wants to fly me out there so we can, you know, go check it out. Um, 
the more you guys keep talking about value and maintenance, the more I want to hang on to a Maserati Gran Turismo. I mean, if you like your car, you like your car. Good. Right? I'm not going to... I'm not, I'm not trying to convince anyone that they should go, buy, go out and buy a Ferrari. However, if someone comes to me and they say, I want to buy a Ferrari, well, then I can walk through <laughs> that process. You know, but if you like the Maserati, we're here for you if you need it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Exactly. Like, my goal is not to, like, convince people. I'm, I'm not, like, that's not like, oh, man, like, you know, people need to believe in Ferrari and buy Ferraris. No, like, anyway. Talk about your help when you buy in cars. Yeah, our, our car services. So, you know, we, look, the reality is we've helped, I don't know, four or 500 people buy Ferraris now. So, yeah, we've seen a little bit of stuff and I've helped a lot of people and I've seen what they go through and talk to them and seen the cars and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, maybe. Just throwing out there, maybe we know some stuff about this. I'm not, I don't know, maybe we don't. So, I like Hugh's uh, comment buy a Porsche. Do it. If you want a Porsche, get a Porsche. Cool. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you not to. Let's see, the goal was to work my way up, and the prices are getting nuts. But the mine has gone up in value 10K in the last year and a half. Yep. Yep. Everything's getting crazy. The problem is, like, they're all going crazy. <laughs> the We Me Love Channel of Fun, Adam and, Aunt, and Dan. Oh, thank you, Mousetrap. No, we're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've had many cars. There's something just special about the brand Ferrari. I agree. Look, I've I've driven a ton of cars now. I've driven every major supercar brand. I've driven every major super, sports car, whatever brand. I've driven lots of cars and i'll tell you there's just something about a ferrari there's a reason why i want a ferrari and the reason why i'm so into the ferrari world but that's just me a mustache is a, a, a must 5.0 you need a mustache what he asked he asked what to do to get into the adult entertainment history i said he needs a mustache oh yeah yeah that's kind of required and a big shoe size. <laughs> big shoes are expensive. True. Though. So. Or genetic. <laughs> <laughs> what was my first Ferrari? It was the F430. That was the first one I owned. Ah, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, almost done with this wine. Have you driven McLaren? Yes. We both I've have. I've driven, yeah. oh boy, quite a few McLarens. I've driven the 570S, the 720, the 600, uh, the 12C. Uh, I've driven a 12C. It's the only one that I've driven. The 12C. It was fast. They're fast. Very fast. Um, it's, it's just they're kind of numb they're, feeling. That's my big complaint with the McLaren. Yeah. The computer the computer's is doing fast. too much work. Unfortunately, yeah. like their their performance is outrageous. But here here's here's how you can tell the computer is doing work. All the clearance have an open diff. Like <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> like you know the computer's saving your ass when you have like 700 horsepower in an open differential. Like I'm sorry, no like normal human being can drive a car with that much horsepower in an open diff and not keep it in a, you know like and be able to keep it in a straight line. So. Um, I can't believe uh, they, spend they spend all that money on all that fancy suspension and everything like that, and arrow and all that stuff, and they're cheap out on the diff. Well, because they just let the computer control the traction control and takes care of it. I guess. They, I mean, from a computer's perspective, like that's just as effective, right? I guess. Still. It probably even makes the differential more efficient horsepower wise, I'm guessing. Right? Like I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, the maintenance on the, the McLaren's also scare the crap out of me. Well they like you need a special bit in order to get the engine cover off on some of their cars. I've heard. It's probably just the torque. Like that's how hard it is. 
Maybe. Maybe. It might be. But either way. You had to see Dan tell Meg how much it cost to own the fry for a year video. My side's eight. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> Any thoughts on making a 360 CS into a spider? Red Rose is doing it. Why the fuck would you ever mock, like, mess around with the challenge Stradality? I think it's stupid. <laughs> For the YouTube, for the YouTube yeah, I mean that's uh, stupid. That's why, you would, that's why you would do it for the YouTube views. Yeah. No, like that's a, that's a terrible idea. You've just killed that car's value. So no, that's a terrible idea. Um, On all of their cars, they don't allow access to engine bays. Why? Yeah, a lot of the McLarens you can't get access to the engine because they don't want you to touch it. It's like, no, nah, hands off. You know. Let's see. Adam has an echo again. I can't help you, man. You haven't changed I got anything. the volume down really low. I'll turn it even lower. So, huh. yeah, anyway. Um, Meg is a social worker. Yes, she is. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, your 570S sounded so weak. I mean, it doesn't have a good exhaust note. Like, none of the McLarens do. They don't sound as... That's because they're all Yeah, turbo. the turbo mutes it a lot, and it just kind of... I don't know. I've never been impressed with the sound of McLarens. They just... Meh. Meh. Do a Gallardo as the next project car that is gated. You might be on this something, maybe. That would be pretty maybe, fun. Possibly. That would be pretty good. Uh, maybe, how, maybe there have been talks about hello, that. Maybe there have been. Jack been. Pimp. Which, by the way, is a badass name, just to say that. Yeah. How was the rally? It was awesome. It was fun. It was very, very good. Echo is gone. Okay, well, I turned down the, the volume. Right? I can barely, I I can barely care, hear Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's going on, is it's uh, every time you talk, my speakers bounce it, and then my microphone picks it up. Yeah, the new Ferraris don't sound that great either. F frankly, a lot of the Ferraris don't sound good from the factory. You have to modify them and put in an aftermarket exhaust, including the 458. I think the 458 sounds terrible from the factory. That's just me. So, Adam, is the pink color just orange on your walls? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is just a basic orange. I can't remember what Bear actually calls it because it's a bear paint. But yeah, it's pretty much just an orange. I have a Excellent. an infatuation with the orange color, if you can't tell. Sorry. I had to do the Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Burns. Yes. Schmee's Black Series sounds horrible. A lot of those McLarens, or the, uh, the uh, AMGs, sorry. Those don't... Mm -hmm. Yeah. The AMGs sound bad, really? Yeah, I don't like I don't like the sound of the AMGs. They sound I don't know. It's almost like they tried too hard to make it sound like grunty, you know? Like brr, brr. It's just I think they sound good. I don't know. I just I'm not a fan. <laughs> uh if anyone has carbon ceramic brakes, is there realistically only the one type of brake pad you can use on those brakes? Just curious. Uh, there's not a whole lot of aftermarket options for carbon ceramics. And I'm not sure that it really would be worth changing to aftermarkets on those because they're really good. So I get like when you, when you have iron, you know, rotors, like you can throw on different pads and they have different parameters and whatever, but like carbon ceramics, it's, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm personally, so we do a lot of aftermarket stuff. There is no aftermarket brake pads for carbon ceramics that we sell, to give you an idea. Use wood pads, cheapo. <laughs> yeah, right until you run it into a wall or something. Yeah, That's you, get, you get exactly cheap. like one half of a braking period. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 458 sounds great stock if you put a way to control the valves. That, yes, if you open the valves in the 458, it sounds a lot better. When the valves are closed, it sounds terrible. 
Like it sounds like it's like a like a wheezing car. It's like just terrible. The guy that has the social club, the Howard. Yep, called the Howard. You guys going to be going back there yes. again? Uh, yes, we actually will be filming videos on location. There. Yeah, that's Richard. Richard has the Howard. We're going to do the 355 engine rebuild at the Howard. Because it has air conditioning. Yes. Glorious air conditioning. <laughs> uh, are you guys at least still having fun? Oh, yeah, yeah. I love this. Yeah. This is awesome. Like, I know I bitch about like the business side of things sometimes, but I'm not, I'm not trying to like complain. I'm just trying to tell you guys facts because like people, people are genuinely curious about like, Oh, how does that work? How does this work? And I'm like, well, you know, like, here's the problem is I think so many YouTubers love to just be like showing you only the positives, right? They're like, look at this great stuff. It's all rainbows and unicorn farts. And you're like, Oh man, that looks so <laughs> awesome. But like, no one's really talking about like the, the BS that goes on in the background that makes it like all that hard work to make this unicorn fart. So I'm trying to tell you like, here's all the crap that made the unicorn fart. So anyway. Richard drives the orange 458 and he has a Testeros as yes. well. Uh, any plans for the Phoenix Yellow E46? Yep, we are converting it to a manual here in a couple of weeks. Uh, so that will be done. And I think that's pretty much it for it. It's otherwise a pretty awesome car. It's a great car to drive. Just needs a real manual. I think that joke about the 348 having brakes made from wood is from Jeremy Clarkson, if I remember correctly. Yes, unicorns fart. They fart rainbows. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a unicorn, it's a horse with a sword on its head. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm surprised Jeremy Clarkson wasn't killed by the Ferrari Mafia if he insulted a Ferrari like yeah, that. Yeah, no kidding, right? How dare you say something like from that movie Rush? You can't say that, it's a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you want one what a unicorn <laughs> or, or a unicorn fart i mean probably probably just as good you know either way the unicorn fart does produce a rainbow which is pretty awesome so. <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna talk about there's a really awesome like meme online about unicorns it's probably probably gets demonetized all right let's uh get in your last questions how are things in texas now i mean fine it's not snowing and we still have power so <laughs> and it's not unbelievably hot anymore, yeah actually either, the temperature is nice. reasonable it's like in the 90s now <laughs> low 90s it's great the F.A. sounds like a unicorn farting. <laughs> uh, how's the Garage Queen going? It's uh, a slow start. We're finally getting a little bit of traction. So we need you guys to, like, go buy and sell cars from there. <laughs> Please. Please. Um, what have been shipping times on exhaust systems? It's not the shipping. It's the production times. Production is, like three plus months because you know n none of these exhausts are in stock like that's no one carries supercar exhausts in stock generally like it's very unusual because they just they don't sell enough of them like it's just too specific so they're all made to order and so when you order a exhaust for a ferrari it's going to take three plus months to make it and then it, you know usually it only takes a week or two to ship so I just sent you a uh, that unicorn meme. I don't know if you want to laugh at it. Oh, it, I sent it in an email. Okay. <laughs> uh, Maybe you can show it on screen. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I've been, uh, yawning. I've been dealing with the kid all day. All right. One last question, and then we're gonna go to bed because I'm tired. And yeah, <laughs> it's been a long day. And we're doing more 355 work tomorrow. Yeah, so. we got to do more 355 stuff. We did some earlier. What would you think Supercar owners would... You would think that Supercar owners would understand lead times. They're all impatient. Um, we've unfortunately had a lot of people order exhausts with us and then like 
cancel. Cancel. And yeah, it's like, they're like, oh, it's taking too long. I'm like, yeah, you know, like there's like this thing called COVID and, you know, global economy slowdown. So yeah, it's going to take a while. Thank, Thank you, John. John, for the unicorn, oh, unicorn. part. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> It is so cute. It's like that thing on the screen. Well, thank you for the com compliment about the excellent content. We like to think we produce yes. good content, although it's generally not true. But, you know, we try. <laughs> um, nice to have you guys back. We miss you. Well, we missed you guys. We missed you guys, yeah, too. It was been, it's always fun. These these are always fun. Um, you, must have to, you must have to drive down to San Antonio down. Yeah, I... Unfortunately... Uh, I hope to never have to do that again. I hate driving to San Antonio. I hate... No, we want to do it one more time to go pick up the car. No, we're going to have to do it a bunch of times. Oh, but that's something completely something different. Else. We're talking about... Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about we want to do it one more time to yeah. go get the okay. car, though. Yeah, I-35 <laughs> sucks. I hate 35. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for tonight. I'm tired. And... Uh, Thank you all for yes, joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. It's good to be back. It's good to see everyone again. We'll be back at the normal Thursday night schedule. So um, yeah. set your clocks next Thursday, 8 p.m. I'll do it again. And we'll see you then. So, all right. Adios, everybody. Bye. I got to do this. Uh, hold on. I'm going to pull up on my phone. There. All right. See you. <laughs> Bye. And others looking to